morning guys so it's about quarter to 11 and it's been a little while since i've done a week in my life vlog and uh there's a few things changed around here so i thought we could do a little catch up take you on a few days and see what, see what i'm up to um so it's about quarter to 11 at the moment and I'm just getting ready because I've got an aesthetics client turning up very short, shortly. Um, and then I'm working a shift in A&E. So quite a busy day. This morning I've just been out with the dog and pottering around the house, which has been really rather lovely. I was working last night, so a bit of a slow start for me this morning. Um, and yeah, I'm quite excited about my aesthetics client turning up. So I'm slowly building up the business. As if you might have seen in my previous vlogs that I've got a clinic that I'm doing from home now, um, which is very exciting. I'm really enjoying doing it. Um, and most of my clients come from referrals. So, you know, friends of friends or um, people who've had treatments with me before tell people about it, word of mouth. But this client found me on the internet and whenever that happens, it just feels like, yes, I'm a legit business. It's really exciting. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting this person and uh, hopefully she'll be happy with her results. So yeah, just getting ready at the moment. Um, I'm working two till midnight this evening and I have been working a lot recently. I've been really um, hitting the shifts hard to make up for the fact that there weren't that many shifts available a couple of months ago. Um, so yeah, very busy. So let's go and see this client and I'll catch up with you afterwards. Ready. I'm trying to match my branding colours. I've got pink top on with these lovely flutter sleeves and some grey trousers and some pink shoes. All set to go. When patients walk in, this is what they see and they come around into my clinic. This is the consultation chair. I love this chair. So bougie. And then this is where I sit. We have some cleaning stuff, some business cards. This is my payment device. I take their consultation and type it all on here. And we have Alexa, we're gonna play some nice music. This candle smells divine. This is my second one that I've got through, they're so good. This is where the treatments happen. And then we do before and after photos with this ring light very bright i always feel bad like shining this right in people's faces but yeah this is my room so that went really well i always feel like i'm buzzing after i've done an aesthetics treatment so the patient was quite nervous when she first came in as a lot of people are for their first appointment um, and she just wanted a consultation we've booked her in for a treatment in a in a week's time after she's got an event she didn't want to have any bruising or swelling or anything um for the event um but yeah i just i love doing these treatments and i love meeting these people and one thing that I wasn't quite expecting about aesthetics that I find incredible and just makes me love the job so much is the confidence it gives to people. Um, I always make sure that I, I specialize, specialize in doing like a really natural treatment. I definitely don't do the whole trout pout look or the frozen face look. I tend to treat sort of middle-aged women who um, want to like soften their lines and wrinkles essentially and look like how they looked five or ten years ago and just kind of look fresh and glowy. And when they come back for their follow-up appointments and tell me that um, they feel a lot more confident or that they didn't realize that um, looking in the mirror was getting them down now they feel really excited about how they look it just feels so good to be able to kind of give women that confidence back we all need a bit of that in our lives and um yeah i wasn't expecting to I, I knew i would love this job and i knew i would enjoy starting this business but i wasn't expecting to love it as much as i do and i'm i yeah i'm always buzzing after these appointments so yeah i'm really excited gonna go and have a cup of tea and then do the ironing it's a very glamorous life over here i've got to iron all my uniforms and uh probably take the dog out again then i'm gonna get ready for work and we're gonna go and do a shift in a and e together so gonna go and get ready for that Bonnie. Working on a secret side project, <laughs> which is this golf buggy. We went and bought this the other day. Oh, no, this is the wedding car, you just don't know yet. <laughs> is this what I'm going to turn up in? <laughs> Something that says hippo buggies on the front. That's it, it's because you're planning on putting a lot of weight on. <laughs> 
brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. So Vince has a speciality, which is buying broken stuff. <laughs> Hoarding crap. <laughs> and uh, fixing it. You're really good at that kind of thing. So this is the most recent project. Yeah. The idea is that we can use this to go into the woodland, pick up wood in this tip of it, and take it to the barn. And it's got a tow bar on it as well. Is it? My, uh, my little truck, my little <laughs> tow um, box trailer, so I can take extra wood and my chainsaw and all the cool stuff. Yeah. So our house might look organised and tidy, but this is the this is the scrapyard. This is where we store all the <laughs> all the rubbish. This is basically like our loft. Um, but yeah, well done, Vince. Good job. Just gonna stay looking at you for a little while, so all the ladies can get a good view of you uh, flexing those muscles. <laughs> flexing, flexing those fat rolls. Flexing the fat rolls. I showed you before that I'm growing some vegetables and look, we've got some tomatoes. Woohoo! Got loads more that are not quite ripe yet. Looking good. Ah, oh, this is making me very happy. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing and they're completely overgrown. But I love coming out here and checking on these bad boys. Got loads of carrots down here. Looking good down there as well. Got some sweet corn on the go. And I've been getting like a courgette a day. Um, again, completely overgrown and I don't know what I'm doing, but we're trying and we're learning. It's all a process. Great, time for work. In my uniform. <laughs> I know that people love to complain about their commute to work, but I personally love my commute. I view it as me time and a chance to listen to all the audiobooks and podcasts that inspire me and educate me. At the moment, I'm listening to The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. It's a free Audible download at the moment. And if you are an Audible member, I would definitely recommend it if you're interested in making money online, personal development. And if you're not already signed up to Audible, then the link in the description box below will get you one free download of a book. Now it's time to make my way into the hospital and I always listen to a really uplifting, pumping tune on my walk-in. I feel like it just lifts my energy and when I turn up to work in a really good mood, the energy is contagious and we have a great start to the shift. It's half past ten now. No, what time is it? Half past eight. <laughs> I'm just going on my break and oh, it's been such a good shift. So much to report. Okay, it's 20 past midnight, I'm back at my car now, you have to excuse the poor lighting, but I am just so excited, I've had such a good day and I'm so glad that I've been vlogging today because I had my great experience with the aesthetics client this morning and then had such a good shift at work. So I've been working the last couple of days and both of the last couple of days I've been in the urgent treatment unit and sometimes when you're around in that area of the department, well, I personally find that when I'm working around there I just feel a bit, um, if I do too many shifts in a row there I feel like I'm burning out because you just see such a high volume of patients and it's a lot of similar presentations. So I specifically asked the consultant when I started at two o'clock this afternoon if I could work in a different area of the department and she put me in majors and um, my first patient that I saw came in with shortness of breath um, and when I listened to the chest I couldn't hear any breath sounds at all on the right side so I got him an urgent chest x-ray um, and when someone hasn't got any breath sounds on in their in their lung fields um, the differentials you start to think of are um, pneumothorax which is um, where you've got air in the space outside the lung, in the lung lining, and so the sounds of the breath aren't being transmitted to um, your stethoscope because there's an air gap. Or if it's a really large pneumothorax, it can actually compress the lung itself uh, and coll collapse it, so you're not getting any breath sounds because no air is going into there. Or it could be a pleural effusion, so you've got fluid in the lining of the lungs, or haemothorax, blood in the lining of the lungs, or you might have pneumonia. There's lots of different causes and basically it's bad. It's bad stuff and you need to get an x-ray immediately and get some um, work out how you're going to manage this patient. And this patient turned out to have a pneumothorax with a completely collapsed lung. 
so um, we moved him straight around to recess. Oh, I forgot to mention, there were a couple of medical students with me as well, and because I'd noticed that he didn't have any breath sounds on the lung, on the right side, I was like, oh, go and examine that patient and tell me what you find, because I thought it might be quite a good practice for them and be interesting to actually find something on examination. It's one of those things you get taught about in med school and maybe you don't actually get to hear it until you're a doctor. Um, so... Yeah, the med students came with me if they're watching Lauren and Miles. It was so great to meet you. Thank you for being such superstars today. But we all transferred the patient around to recess. And um, because I didn't have any other patients in majors and there were plenty of other doctors in majors, they let me stay around in recess to put in a chest drain to decompress the um, pneumothorax. So basically remove the air from around the, the from inside the lining of the lungs and allow the lung to re-expand and come back to its normal capacity. Um, and then you leave the chest drain in to allow for full resolution over 24 hours. And I've never put in a chest drain before. So it was really exciting because it's basically like a mini surgical procedure. You have to sort of um, get gowned up and you have to do it all aseptically. Um, you've got, it's, it's, it was just really exciting and I felt so grateful to be able to do that because I'm a locum doctor, I'm not on a training pathway. And so quite, you know, I, I, I forego the opportunity to to do procedures and to be trained to do extra things because um, you know that's an educational opportunity for someone else that is on a training pathway and things that they need to get signed off to show that they're competent um, so you know I don't expect to be able to be trained and taught how to do those sort of things on shift and I just was really fortunate that the, the stars aligned to allow me to um, to have the opportunity to do that and the registrar that was uh, teaching me to do it Stephen Ojo thank you to you if you're watching that was it was so good such good teaching you made me feel really calm and relaxed and even though I had an audience um, and yeah it was it was successful and the patient was really relaxed as well which helped um, and he wasn't complaining of any pain or anything because I know it can be quite a quite a seriously painful procedure to have done he was absolutely fine and really relaxed and laughing and joking afterwards and after you've put in a chest drain to decompress the um the pneumothorax you get a chest x-ray and his chest x-ray looked brilliant it was um the pneumothorax was resolved so he's going to get admitted uh, to keep an eye on him and to to find out the cause of why he's actually had this pneumothorax in the first place um but yeah i just feel really proud of myself really happy and it's just a one of those shifts that I feel like I'm a bit buzzing like I was talking about earlier I just feel like things are going really well in that sense and yeah I had a few other interesting interesting cases one really complex case uh, patient uh, patient on dialysis um, who's come in with a multitude of problems so that took quite a long time lots of different discussions with various specialists and um yeah lots of lots of thinking it was a very medical problem lots of uh, lots of sort of tests and questioning where this lady would be best cared for um and yeah i've just handed over and and come out to the car i'm gonna head home now so um i've got a day off tomorrow and then i'm back in on thursday and on my day off tomorrow I'm I'm really tired actually. I'm, I know I sound like I'm quite excitable right now, but I'm actually so exhausted because I've been flipping between days and nights for the last couple of weeks, and I really really feel like I could do with a big lion and then just like pottering about the house and putting my feet up. But that ain't gonna happen <laughs> because I've got a lot to get done. I've got loads of Etsy orders outstanding. Um, you guys know that. Well, you may you may know my sister and I run an online shop, and um, we've got loads of Etsy orders to to process so I'm going to do that tomorrow and uh, probably a bit of admin for my YouTube channel and a few other bits and pieces and some admin for my aesthetics clinic too um, plus some nice things some hanging out with Bonnie and just some sort of chores around the house but um, yeah I, um, I'm excited that I've been vlogging this today and I wish that I could actually have actually taken you through to resource with me to do this chest drain.
Having a dog has just made my life so whole. I love that Bonnie's always in a good mood. She is always so happy and excited when I get her up in the mornings. And we have this cute little routine where we sit on the sofa and have a cuddle for a few minutes. And then we do some tricks with some treats. She absolutely loves to learn. And then I take her out for her morning walk. In February this year, we moved house and essentially bought our dream property. It's got a woodland at the back of it and it just feels absolutely unreal. Every morning I go out for a walk with the dog and I just soak up all of the sights and sounds and smells. It smells so fresh and green and just look around at all the birds and nature around me and just feel so grateful and thankful for what I, I'm able to experience here. Next year we are getting married in our garden and we decided to go ahead and buy a marquee. So it's a second hand one and we wanted to do a bit of a trial run and see if any of the bits were broken or rusty or needed replacing. So what you can see here is half a marquee. This is the roof of it and we still need to put it up on its legs. But essentially we had a really great day the other day where loads of our friends helped us come over to the house and put it up. So we did a bit of a trial run for June next year. It's very exciting. Now it's time for me to get on with a bit of cleaning and organizing around the house. So a few loads of laundry, a bit of hoovering, and I'm using a device here called a steam press. <laughs> this is something that those of you who like cleaning and organizing will enjoy, and the rest of you will probably think I'm a complete saddo. But I bought this because I really do love getting into freshly ironed bed sheets, but I don't love ironing. And this just makes the process really smooth and quick. I mean, everything goes in really wrinkled and comes out totally smooth smooth and then here is my bed this is the result it is so worth it it makes me very happy I'm a complete sadder I know so the dog has been walked the plants are all watered I have just hoovered the whole house done the ironing and I'm not even dressed um <laughs> it's like it's lunchtime I'm not dressed I'm just in my loungy clothes um so I'm gonna get myself up get myself ready and get out to the post office to sort these Etsy orders out um, and yeah I can't be bothered with washing my hair so we're gonna, we're gonna do a dry shampoo day. <laughs> oh I'm feeling fresh I'm just putting on a face mask now it's an alpha hydroxy acid one which is very exfoliating for the skin just to give me a real fr freshen up and brighten up of my skin um, I'm really happy with how it's all looking at the moment but yeah it's, I've never tried this one before um, it's an Arbonne one that one of my friends recommended to me and oh I can already feel it tingling um with hydroxy acid with alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids you do feel a bit of a tingle I've, I use one that's got um, I use a moisturizer that's got something every day because it helps with um spots and you know wearing a mask all the time at work makes me break out a lot so I'm hoping that this is going to work its magic and I'm going to look really fresh I'm just going to leave this on while I'm packaging orders multitasking so this is my outfit of the day i'm just wearing a little loungewear set that i got from zara or mango i can't remember but yeah super comfy knitted trousers very stretchy and just want to be comfy today on my day off just washed, washed the mask off and my skin feels amazing it feels so bright and soft and i've put on my usual vitamin c serum um moisturizer and some spf and some very badly done mascara <laughs> but yeah i'm definitely going to be using that mask more frequently um, it recommends to use it twice a week so i shall be doing that Next on my to-do list today is to package up Etsy orders ready to go out. My sister and I run an online shop and the orders have piled up today so I'm packaging those and taking them to the post office. I don't have the perfect system, this always takes me longer than it probably should um, but yeah it's really good fun having a creative outlet outside of work and it's just so satisfying every time we get a sale. It always feels really exciting. I feel like the money that you earn through doing a creative project and something on the side feels so much more satisfying than money that you earn in your day job. I don't know why that is. Do any of you have side jobs and can relate to that? If you haven't got this recipe book, stop everything and go and order it immediately. It is so good. I've made a few meals from it. They're so easy and tasty. I would 100% recommend it. I'll leave it in the description box below for you so you can check it out. It's, I sit down and have a flick through a couple of recipe books, plan my meals for the following week and do an online food shop. 
Now it's time to sit down and crack on with a bit of work. I've got a few newsletters to write. I like to batch those in advance and get a few of them written in one go. And then I'll reply to a few YouTube comments and review some work that my virtual assistant has been working on. And yeah, then the mighty task of tackling my email inbox. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I like to be an inbox zero kind of girl. And when we moved house this year, I just let things really pile up and I got behind on my emails and suddenly I am swimming in emails, unread emails, and I feel like I'm never going to get back to inbox zero and it's stressing me out. Time for a little bit of playtime with Bonnie in the garden. You ready, Bonnie? You ready, Bonnie? Ready. Go get it. Good girl. Good girl, bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. Oh, a <laughs> quick wee as well. <laughs> You're a multitasking lady. Evening now, Vince is home from work. And we're just, oh, I'm just falling down a hole. We are just out walking the dog again. Um, and we had a nice, easy TV dinner. Pizza, salad, oh no, broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it matters. <laughs> <laughs> Top yeah. notch content here. Um, yeah. Oh, you missed. My, I had an ice cream. <laughs> yeah. So we are. We're just gonna do a little review of our finances after this, aren't we, Vince? Yeah. Find out how much money we've spent on things we shouldn't have bought, like a golf buggy, uh, a marquee, <laughs> uh, <laughs> things yeah. like that. Good investments. Yeah. Yeah. Got to be done though, and I think we'll feel good once it's done. One of those things we've both been putting off for ages, isn't it? Yeah, the dog's decided to dig a hole. We up to you, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie, what are you doing? She's digging out the holes. Silly dog. Oh, she's trying to eat a root. Oh, there you go. You got it. Get that, get that, get that tree. <laughs> go on. Yay! Oh. One down. About. <laughs> 400 to go. So guys, I'm gonna round this vlog up here. Vince and I are gonna go and spend a bit of time together on the sofa, watch some TV, and I've got a bit of tidying up to do. And yeah, it's just been really nice doing a bit of a longer vlog again. I've missed doing these, so I'll be looking forward to doing more. And uh, if you've watched this far, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. This week's shout out goes to Amanda Roberts. You commented on my last video about morning routines and that you find it motivating watching my videos. Thank you, Amanda. It's great to hear from you and I appreciate you for watching my videos. 